internet can be a cruel place, but real life can be downright evil. We all try to escape reality once in a while, but we always come back to Earth eventually. The funny thing about humans is that most of them think they actually care about the world around them, when really, they only care about themselves. They believe that helping others is a good thing, but most won't act on it. Most just walk away from the problem, hoping that it won't happen to them. The ones who do act don't do it because they have any respect for their fellow man, but do it for non-essential reasons like self-pride and getting good boy points to their imaginary friend. When most people get into big issues, it's because they're afraid that one side will affect their stuff. An example would be how anti-vaxxers feel about the flu vaccines. You see, they believe if their kids are injected that they'll get autism. And they don't want their kids to get autism because, I mean, think about it. It took nine months to birth the motherfucker, and now if the kid has autism, that's just going to be a lot more responsibility. And they don't want that. It's always about them and not you. That's how most movement starts. And no other groups are more about themselves than the left and the right. Both are at fault, but only one is associated with Antifa. A lot of these people, including the left, are called Bazus, a Chinese word that basically means left westerners who typically fight against issues that they think are going to make them into saviors. Ironic that this word comes from the country that still uses concentration camps. But where am I going with this? Well, these saviors have accidentally created a monster. Gypsy Crusader, aka Paul Miller, aka the Joker of Omegle, is here. Today, I'm going to go over his brief but sad story. It only takes one day to make someone mad. You want to know who said that? The Joker from The Killing Joke. And I don't think that that phrase is any more clearer than here. Gypsy Crusader was just an average journalist. One night, he tried to attend an event to cover a story. When he couldn't get in, he started to leave. And in the process, he bumped into an Antifa leader, and a fight quickly ensued. It was quickly resolved, but when he started to head home with his friend, a gang of five Antifa members started to close in. Gypsy told his friend to run, and it soon got out of hand, and more started coming. Luckily, Gypsy was an excellent fighter, and fought off the rowdy group just in time for the police to break up the fighting. However, it seemed like nothing was done to the people who assaulted him, because over the next few days, Gypsy was getting doxxed on Twitter, being called names, and being sent basic copy and paste insults. Things were sent to his house, there were threats of violence, blah blah blah, he lost his job, but the most problematic thing that happened to him was that he lost his gym membership. And that's the story we know so far. There are probably more details, but we haven't gotten anything from him. He's only given us the information we already need to know. For now, Gypsy makes videos making fun of people on Omegle, and has become the new top meme of the time. What's wrong, kid? I just got bullied for being gay. <laughs> oh yeah? What's well, about to happen again? <laughs> However, what I didn't know was that Gypsy is a very political kind of guy who focuses on the problems of present day America. At first, I thought he was playing an act like this was a character, but no, everything he says he actually believes. And it's very jarring to hear most of the time, but I can understand where he's coming from on some of the issues. Oh, so like you hate black people too? For example, I agree that the country is separating and eventually the people will not take it anymore. But his solutions on how to fix these problems and the radical racist ideology is beyond inappropriate and won't solve anything. Plus, he's like a Christian, so you already know he's fucking retarded. What's even more interesting is that he actually condones the actions of several people who try to act like him as he doesn't want them to ruin their lives. You know, everybody's gonna, everybody's got a, an individual situation. You know what I mean? I don't want to just give a blanket statement for everybody like, yeah, throw your life away or, you know, come out and, and, and say what you really believe and do all this. I know it's hard for people. I know it's dangerous. I know it's scary. You know, I got pushed to this point where, where it just happened. It is sad that one's ideology can be the demise of oneself and others. I think it is best that we do not feel sad for him, but use him as an example. 
It is important to think for yourself and find out what is right and wrong. And eventually, we're gonna have to wait on what happens next. And something will happen. You wanna know why? Well, I'll give you a hint. It's in my lap. That's right. The YouTube fossil record never lies. And I can't wait to read the next chapter. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. I mean, no one's gonna ever gonna fucking watch this channel, so man, I don't even know. Maybe I'm... My, most of my audience is women, and they don't even like my dark sense of humor. Got that credit card. They gave him a bat credit card. They had the balls to give one of the greatest super-